everybody! Welcome back to Desert DIY and if you are new here, my name is Corey. Today's project is a lampshade redo DIY that took me about 10 minutes and it only required two things which was some leftover lace fabric and some regular scissors. I would highly suggest you have sharp scissors when working with fabric or else you'll get really frustrated really fast. But this project is super easy. It is a no sew project and it is a definitely a beginner level DIY. I truly believe anybody could do this. So let's get started. Here's how I did it. So the only thing that is wrong with this lampshade is that the fabric no longer matches my home decor. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut this old lampshade off. Now this project only works with a lampshade that has a metal wire um, inside. If you have the kind that's made of paper and there's no metal uh, inside it to hold this new fabric, then this will not work. Okay, so now we have our lampshade. <laughs> the bones of it at least. I'm gonna take my leftover lace fabric that I used to make curtains in the past and I'm going to cut it into long strips and then I'm going to wrap it around and tie it on the bottom here. First, I need to cut this fabric into strips. I have my first strip cut and it's a few inches wide. I would say probably two and a half to three inches. I'm not gonna worry about the edges fraying because I feel like over time that would look perfectly fine for the style that I'm going for. So now I'm just gonna put it over the top and bring it down to the bottom. Now I'm gonna have leftover. I just cut it long and I'm gonna end up having leftover at the end to snip off. So, I'll turn it this way. I'm going to snip off about there. Now I'm going to tie a knot at the bottom. See my knot here at the bottom? And then I'm just gonna bunch my fabric up together and then trim this just a little bit more. So it looked like this. <clears throat> when I have a lot of different rows of this, it's going to look a lot more finished at the bottom when the whole base of it is nice and poofy and, and cute. It'll look really shabby chic. So here is the final product. This is the base of the lamp, and I believe this base of this lamp, this style here, is from the 1940s. It has a very old style plug as well, which shows you that it is truly a vintage piece. Also, lampshades nowadays just screw in from the top, whereas this one is just a hole that fits perfectly over the top of this like finial here. But um, I have an LED bulb inside the lamp, and that is going to prevent it from creating any type of heat that could damage my fabric. I highly recommend that if you are doing anything with fabric on a lamp, you use LED bulbs only because they do not produce heat, therefore they are not a fire hazard. Also, never place any kind of fabric over top of a lamp. That will also be a fire hazard. So this has lots of breathing room here in the top, as you can see. So there will be no heat trapped in here, no worries about any kind of fire hazard. And this was so easy. I didn't have to use anything but scissors and fabric to create this. There are so many different um, ways of recovering a lampshade, but a lot of them um, require a lot of ironing, glue, sewing, and I just wanted to create something that was easy to do. You could do it in less than 10 minutes 
and you could use leftover things. I have been organizing my house like crazy and doing the whole Marie Kondo thing like everybody else is doing right now. And this makes me so happy because now I no longer have this extra fabric just sitting around taking up space in my home. And I also get to put this lamp to good use because before I wasn't using it since it didn't match my new decor. You can find more from me on my Instagram, which is desert.diy. Then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to show you my next project. Bye.